Hi, I'm Jeff Payne, and I'm a uh, preventive maintenance instructor with Caterpillar. And today we're out here on the back end of this uh, Cat MTL. I want to talk to you about a few things you got to be checking on these things. A few maintenance tips. One is uh, this compartment right here. It might be overlooked. It's pretty easy to get into. I want to make sure it doesn't have leaves and debris, sticks, anything in here that's going to obstruct airflow through our coolers and make our machine run hot. open up the compartment here. When we got this open, we ought to be looking at a lot of different things in here. We ought to be looking at our hoses and stuff in here, making sure we don't have any leaks, uh, looking at our fuel lines and stuff, no leaks on there. I uh, really like to look back here at my air filter hose coming in that comes from the air filter into the engine. Make sure I don't have any cracks or splits in that hose because that's going to be sucking dirty air in and uh, not being filtered, which is harmful to your engine. While we're on the top here, let's talk about the valve cover. Um, obviously, you're looking around the valve cover for leaks, but uh, a lot of times uh, I see that people, when they do maintenance on things, will overlook the fact that the valves do need adjusted in these engines periodically. Um, that can cause low power. That's one of the biggest complaints we'll see when these valves start to get out of adjustment is low power complaints. Now, whether you want to attempt to do this yourself or go to your cat dealer, they do have the trained professionals to uh, set your valves in an engine, but it is a, a maintenance item that's in your OMM that, like I say, is often overlooked by uh, customers. They just uh, don't take the time or don't want to spend the money, but it's going to affect you. If you're not spending the time and money to make this thing run right, this machine's not performing for you, and you're losing money when you're out there in the job if this machine's running slow. Also, we want to look at the other hoses that are back here, our clamps, different things like that. Make sure they're tight. I'm looking at hoses, looking for leaks in this compartment, looking for things that are rubbing anything that might cause me a problem when I'm out in the field. By taking that extra few minutes and looking these machines over before you go out and operate them, you're going to make sure that they perform for you when you're out there and they're going to be up and running, which is what you need to do so that you can make money when these things are operating for you. For more information, you can always look in your OMM to find out the, uh, the times that these maintenance items need to be done. It's all called out there in the book. And uh, for more information above that, you can always contact your local cat dealer.